Hey everyone, it's been a little bit, but it's finally time for the next episode of Animec. This project took a little bit longer than I initially intended, but it's finally done and I'm ready to show it to you guys. This episode's build is a commission for the series Jujutsu Kaisen, and more specifically, Gojo's Hollow Purple. Jujutsu Kaisen is one of my favorite animes that I recently watched, so I knew I'd have a really fun time with this project. If you haven't watched it already, I highly recommend it. And before we get into the build, if you're new here and you end up enjoying the video, remember to subscribe. Feel free to check out my other episodes of Animec, and I also have other types of keyboard content on this channel too. And lastly, a quick shout out to my Patreon because you guys are awesome. And with that, let's get into the build, starting with the part selection. The case for this build is the KBD67 V3. It's an all aluminum gasket mounted board with a brass plate and weight. It's a pretty popular pick in the community because of its excellent acoustics. For switches, we're using the popular NK creams. They're a premium linear switch known to be really smooth. And of course, they were lubed with Crytox 205 and 105. And lastly, CableMod was nice enough to provide another custom coiled cable for this build. Again, this will be a free gift to the client, and you can check out CableMod in the description if you want to customize one for yourself. Okay, the design. As you already know, the theme for this keyboard is Gojo's Hollow Purple from the anime series Jujutsu Kaisen. My first instinct was to check out the manga panel, and then come up with a design from there. You can see I tried some strange things with the coloring, but those didn't really turn out too well. However, I really did like Gojo's pose in this, so I took that part out specifically, and I based the rest of my designs around it. Next, I thought I would try spray painting a sphere as if he was holding the hollow purple, so I made a couple mock-ups to see what that might look like. After doing a little bit more research on the painting techniques required to do that, as well as considering the small scale that I'm working with, I decided it wouldn't really work out either. Finally, I came to the conclusion of doing a hydro dip. I made a couple mock-ups for what that might look like, and then I adapted the design to fit with the case. And here's the final result. After the client approved the design, the customization process could finally get started. If you saw my last video, I hydro dipped a keyboard for the first time. Well actually, on the same day, I hydro dipped my second keyboard right after it. And because I did them exactly the same way, I'll just go over it really quickly. You can check out the other video if you're more interested in a more detailed look. To prep the case, I first taped off the parts that I didn't want to get any paint on. I printed out the stencil shape from my design and lined it up with the keyboard. I always make my designs on the computer to scale, so when I print it out, it's always the correct size. For the colors of this hydro dip, I used two shades of purple, blue, red, and black. I actually ended up dipping this board twice because I wasn't really happy with how the first one looked, but I didn't record the second dip because it was more of a last second decision. And yes, I learned my lesson this time and I wore gloves. To add the Gojo panel to the case, I decided to use film free water slide decals. If you watch any of my other Animac videos, you'll see that I typically use decals with the film. Those are a bit trickier to use and can really easily lead to problems like air bubbles being trapped inside. I wanted to use the film free version to fix the problems I was having. The only additional steps used in the film free version is applying glue. Just apply it to the surface and spread it around evenly. Here I'm using a paintbrush to make sure that it gets spread around to all the parts I need. And after the glue is applied, the decal process is pretty much the same as normal. Soak your decal in water for a minute, and then apply it to the surface. Once the placement is correct, remove the backing paper, and begin removing the excess glue with a rubber squeegee.
After giving the glue enough time to dry, simply remove the film and clean off the extra glue. The last touch of the case was a simple paint and fill to the KBD fans logo. Originally I was following a tutorial on YouTube from Dodo, but I was having trouble cleaning the paint off the tiny lettering. Instead I tried a different method that worked better for my needs. I simply diluted my paint with a little bit of water to make it more liquidy. Then I took a paintbrush and added paint one drop at a time into the KBD fans logo. Of course this process did take a little bit of time to do, but I would say the results were worth it. To finish off the build, I made some custom keycaps. First off is a purple resin escape key. If you're interested in the first time I made resin keycaps, I did a video on that, so you can check that out. And the other custom keys I made were Gojo's name. These were done with water slide decals again, but not the film free version. And that about wraps up all the customization. If you liked the video and you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit that button. You can always change your mind later, but it really helped my small channel grow. Okay, now let's see the reveal, and make sure you stay till the end for the sound test. 